Hey everyone, welcome to Monktoberfest. I'm here with Ryan Tomeko. Uh, Ryan's from GitHub, and I'm giving him his speaker's present, which is this fine bottle of wine. Ooh. Ryan, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Can awesome. you give us a, a, a little synopsis of the talk you gave? Sure, my talk is about um, GitHub and the way GitHub is or organized, uh, management at GitHub, how we think about management um, or the lack of management, um, and just some of the things that we've borrowed from the open source community as far as how to get people to cooperate and organize without necessarily being uh, directed from the top down. So it includes uh, some uh, information on the tools that we use to do that um, and then also some of the processes that or some ways that you can evaluate internal processes and uh, forms of communication inside your organization to see if they're kind of a good fit and have good uh, survivability characteristics. So how many people are in GitHub? Uh, there's 125 today, I think. Okay, well done. And you, you, you manage to, or you don't manage, I should say, maybe. Uh, you, you, it, it, GitHub works without a management structure? GitHub works without people called managers or anybody in a, a discrete management role. So everybody's uh, everybody at GitHub has a role that's related to product work in some way, the development, design. Uh, and there's people that do management duties, but we try to spread it throughout the company as best as we can. So uh, kind of everybody is responsible for managing their own time. Everybody is responsible for managing projects, things like that. So we share those responsibilities, and we do that largely through tools and things like that. So. Awesome. So if people want to find out how to do that themselves in their own company, they can just yes. see the, the talk, which we'll have exactly. online at redmond.com slash TV. Thank you, Ryan.